Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to start another question regarding MRCS based on EMRCS. We also will also discuss about the recalls, Fosia sheet, and other questions if possible to be available. So let's start the question. Which of the following signs is seen in patient? who have a significant retroperitoneal hemorrhage so here we can see in case of retroperitoneal hemorrhage which sign will be positive that means hemorrhage behind the peritoneal cavity here retro means back peritoneum peritoneal cavity so blood in the retroperitoneal space that means blood in the back side of the peritoneum and the options are here Boas sign Pemberton sign Gray Turner sign Coolen sign and Robson sign so let's see first uh, see uh, this picture here we can uh, see the cart size of the peritoneum here we can see uh, these are the uh, cuts uh, area of the peritoneum and behind this structure and some of the peritoneum also present here here we can see some grayish region here here these are the peritoneum and behind the structure such as this kidney adrenal gland this pancreas and different part of the duodenum they are the retroperitoneal structure and we also can see the gridoid vessels such as abdominal aorta inferior vena cava and these structures are retroperitoneal structure so when hemorrhage occurs retroperitoneum that means behind the peritoneum uh, that is uh, it may occur from these structures such as pancreas or uh, this structure kidney suprarenal gland uh, from the abdominal aorta inferior vena cava different structure which lies behind the peritoneum here I have the uh, peritoneum and behind the peritoneal structure uh, any bleeding occur then retroperitoneal hemorrhage then when hemorrhage occurs in the retroperitoneal space it uh, cannot uh, come uh, to the front of the peritoneum uh, so they will connect it this region these two region that means the flank region this plank region they may be uh, collected here here we can see the uh, signs of the hemorrhage such as uh, in this picture we can see there is a hemorrhagic area just below the umbilicus and in the first picture we can see the uh, blood present in the flank area so we can see um, um, uh, in this case the blood uh, comes out from uh, in front of the peritoneum and this is called coolant sign and present around the umbilicus close to umbilicus or inferior to the umbilicus so in case of coolant sign in case of coolant sign blood present anterior abdominal all anterior abdominal all this area and in case of great turner sign present in the flank region because this bleeding occurs behind the peritoneum so, uh, so they cannot uh, come to the front of the peritoneum so they uh, come to, uh, to this area behind from the peritoneal structure so here some of the signs such as Robson sign they present in case of appendicitis Boas sign is present in case of cholecystitis Murphy sign cholecystitis Coolen sign it occurs in case of pancreatitis and it is and other intra-abdominal hemorrhage but great turner sign this sign is very very important great turner sign it is occurs also from uh, for the pancreatitis but uh, it comes backwards and other retroperitoneal hemorrhage so all retroperitoneal hemorrhage they gives the signs of great turner sign so it is very very important all retroperitoneal hemorrhage they give rise to Great turner sign and all intra abdominal hemorrhage, all intra abdominal hemorrhage they give rise to coolant sign. So, here our final answer is 
gray turner style you can see here our final answer is gray turner sign because the bleeding occurs in the retroperitoneal hemorrhage so all retroperitoneal hemorrhage they may show gray turner sign here all intraperitoneal hemorrhage they show coolant sign and gray turner sign it present in the flank area and coolant sign they present in the anterior abdominal wall thank you